Uh, look, having been involved in the NRC competition with the, the previous draw team, um, across two seasons allowed me a chance to work in depth with the Fijian boys, understand what they were capable of, um, and, and, and know the challenge and the excitement that's going to be involved in showcasing that at Super Rugby level, but also the chance to work with the, the staff that we've put together for me to continue to grow as a coach. It's, the overall package, package is so exciting. Look, I think it'll be, I think, you know, whilst we're, whilst we're preparing the boys and we've got a sort of two or three month period to prepare them, I still think there'll be a, a period of time where they adjust to the pace of the game and the, it's probably the playing styles that, that they won't be used to. I think the Kiwi teams have a distinct style, as do the Australian teams. Our boys are very well versed at playing Fijian teams, so that'll take some adjustment. But the great thing is we've got three months, we've got a fantastic facility here, world-class training area, we've got world-class coaches, so, you know, I think that we we'll get the next two or three months right, then we will hit the ground running, hopefully. Going great. Look, we can't fault the boys. They've been four or five weeks in now. Look, it's a huge challenge. A number of them came off the island having been in lockdown for six months and did a short two or three week training block before they came here. So there was a, there was a lot of work to do, but we can't fault their effort and commitment. And we're starting to see some real gains now. We've got guys making huge gains physically. Now we're going to start to, to get a little bit more rugby into them and, and then we'll challenge them across that area and, and hopefully uh, be ready come February. Yeah, so outside of the Drua, uh, I worked a bit with the Flying Fijians. Uh, we went to Twickenham and played the Barbarians, with a mainly on island-based Flying Fijian team, which was good. And then uh, my most recent involvement was with the Sevens at the Olympics. So um, across a three-year period, I've worked with the under-20s team, the Fijian Sevens, the Flying Fijians, and the previous Drua. So, you know, it's an exciting time now to be working with these boys in a full-time environment. Oh, just breathtaking. Um, it's... It came at a point in my career where I probably needed to be, uh, where I probably needed to be, be challenged in certain ways, and, and they do that. The boys they challenge you to teach them, but you know there's times where you where you sit in the grandstand and you're just a spectator as much as the the person who pays to come in and watch the game. So, I think the talent is there. I think physically, um, the style of play that we play will will light up Super Rugby, um, and and it's just so exciting to be a part of. No, the week-to-week -week grind is going to be a challenge. It's not something that the boys will be used to. But again, three-month preparation should help us with that. Um, quite a few of the boys have experienced life away from home. The Sevens boys have, have, have sort of had the last six months away from home in a bubble. So we'll lean on them to, to offer some guidance and help to the boys as well as some staff that have gone through that with the Olympic preparation as well. So whilst it's going to be a huge challenge, um, we're sort of treating it as a family away from home and it... The, the advantage of that is that it brings the boys tighter together and we're all living in each other's pockets where we're all together 24 hours. So, you know, when we switch off, the boys have fun. But when we, when we come together, they, there's certainly a focus and a desire to make the sacrifice worthwhile on the field. Look, it's certainly right up there. I think that um, Nutha, our, our head, of, uh, head of performance, summed it up when he said there's never been a Fijian team that's been... Uh, a 15 aside Fijian team that's been involved in, in coming into a full-time professional program. So it's a, it's a huge challenge, not just for these boys, but for Fiji rugby as a whole. I think it's, it's an opportunity for everyone involved, coaches, players, management and staff, to, to really set up the future of, of Fiji rugby. I think you know, in four or five years' time, if, if this team is producing at the top of Super Rugby, then I think the Flying Fijians can challenge the top teams in World Rugby and it can be a game changer, not just for the players and staff, but for the people of Fiji.